All right, lesson three one, solving systems of equations, but we're going to do that graphically. Hopefully that's not too hard for you since we have all this practice solving things graphically. It's kind of the point of doing chapter two first. It's a complex looking problem. We have one equation and a second equation. What that means when you solve it is what is the one spot on this graph that's common to both equations? What is an answer to this that's also an answer to this? That's a graphical solution. This chapter we're going to learn lots of ways to do exactly that. Figure out what the one solution is, if there is one, for two different lines. One way to do it is graphically. That's what we're going to start with today. If we graph both lines, the one spot that's common to both graphs should be where they intersect. So let's start here with the one I've labeled with the red dot. You guys are pretty good at this, I know. We've had uh, the slope intercept lessons for a while, and you guys usually do quite well on those. We know that the intercept, the intercept is where it hits the y axis. That's going to be at positive 2. We have our first point. And our slope is negative 3, which we know means negative 3 over 1, which tells us to go down 1, 2, 3 and over 1. We're not doing inequality, so there's no shading. You don't have to worry about dotted or solid. We are always solid when we're or equal to. So this is equal to. Draw ourselves a line. Since you're doing a graphical solution, it's probably a good idea to use a ruler at that point and not do what I just did, which is freehand it. Because if the answers don't come out rather nicely, you're not going to see the answer so obviously, unless you're using a ruler. The second line is the one that we have here. If we look at this one, it has a y-intercept of negative 3. So I'm going to count down 1, 2, 3. And it has a slope of 2, which we know means 2 over 1. It's a positive slope. It's going to be one that rises. We're going to go up 1, 2, and over 1. And it's pretty obvious what our common point is already, but let's go ahead and graph it anyways. And because we have an intersection there at the point right 1, down 1, or as we would call it, 1, negative 1, that's our actual answer. The answer to the system of equations you see here is 1, negative 1. And that's how we would write it exactly like that. That's all there is to it. Graph it, see where they intersect, and that's your answer. You don't have to do this on graph paper, but I highly suggest that it's going to make finding the answers way easier for you. If you need any graph paper, make sure you see me. I have some you can use. That's it.